I want to offer my advice and my suggestion to many so-called black men, many men in general, but mainly to the so-called black men, the ones that feel that they have to fight to see their children. Now, I'm a big advocate for taking care of your children. I'm a huge advocate for defending your children, fighting for and protecting your children. But I personally feel that men should never have to fight to see their kids. And usually the fight comes from the female. I've heard countless number of females that would tell men that they should fight for their kids. Men should never have to fight for their kids. Black females are some of the most toxic people in this planet. I'll repeat that again. Black females are some of the most toxic people on this planet. Why would you want a man to fight to see his kids? Now, there are so many females that feel they can do and say anything they want to a man. And he's supposed to just take it on the strength of him being a man. They tell you that you should never, case in point, the situation that took place with the guy that decided to execute his ex-wife and his fiance. And this black females that said, what do you think their kids are going to say when they grow up to see the video of what their father did to their mother? but never mention what that mother did to the father to put him in a position or to provoke him to do what he did. Now, I hear so many females say that he was weak and nothing she did should have pushed him to the point where he would want to snuff out his child's mother. Forget about the fact that there are so many females that have taken the lives of the fathers of children, have taken the father out of the home, refused to allow a child's father to see him. But yet they say that men should not take a child's mother away from them. And then this one female says that regardless of what she did to him, he should have just continued to fight for his kids. That right there is a toxic mentality. Men should never have to fight to see their kids. The only time men should fight for their children is if they're fighting to protect them or they're fighting to get custody of them. But never should a man have to fight to be in his child's life. And in many cases, in most cases, in just about every case, when a man stays there and fight, he's got his attorneys, she's got her attorneys, they're going back and forth to court. Um, at the end of the day, the child would still grow up thinking that the father was a bad person because the mother is going to feed that child's mind poison about the father. She's so toxic that she don't know how to keep the animosity she had for the father she don't know how to keep that away from the child. The child should never be in between the conflict of a mother and the father. They should not even hear the mom and dad argue. 
Why would she be so toxic to put the child in the middle, using that child as a pawn to get back at the child's father? And she feels that by keeping that child away from him, turning that child against him, will get revenge for what she felt he did to her. Not realizing that she's really hurting that child. Because at any time, that man could say, you know what? F these kids. Pay the support, move on with his life. He can make other children. So, I suggest that men should stop fighting to see their kids. Don't even waste your time. Don't waste your money. Don't waste your energy fighting for those kids. What that toxic female do is she knows that you love your kids. She knows that you are attached to your children. So she would weaponize those kids to get back at you. That's the only real weapon she has that could destroy you. I know of cases of black men that committed suicide because he was not allowed to see his child. This guy locally jumped off of a highway bridge because he was not able to be in his child's life. So, the best thing for many men to do, I'm talking about good fathers. I'm not talking about these deadbeats that's out there. In most cases, the best thing for you to do is to keep your emotions out of it. Don't even become emotionally attached to those children if you're going through custody disputes. Learn how to separate yourself from the love you have for your child. I know it's a bad thing to say. It's not a good thing to say. But to save yourself, self preservation you have to persevere. To save yourself, you have to separate your emotion, your love you have for your kids, and just learn to move on with your life. Don't waste your time fighting for your kids because the way the court systems are set up, the way these laws are set up, they're set up against you and in favor of that female. At the end of the day, they're going to show favor to her. And at will, she can go back at any time for more money. She keeps tabs on what you make. So if you get a $5 raise, she want a piece of that. And she will go back to court and tell the court he got a raise. So that she can drain more money out of you. Not for the benefit of that child but for the benefit of herself and to keep her clutches on you. That's her way of staying in your life, being a thorn in your flesh. So men, sometimes you can learn from deadbeats. You can learn from a deadbeat. Deadbeats are the ones that females are not so much as concerned about the monies. Because I've met females that have had deadbeat baby daddies that wanted nothing to do with those kids, nor did they want anything to do with her. And she would take them to court, not for monetary reasons, but so that he would be in that child's life. And I'm sitting there looking, trying to make sense of that because I've only seen black females take guys to court for more money. 
But I'm talking to these women are saying, I don't want his money. I just want him to be in my child's life. These are his kids. His kids need him. I don't want what he has. Just be in their life. And I'm saying like, this is crazy because now you have the guys that want to be in their child's life. And then that's when the female weaponized them. If they know that you love those kids, if they know that those kids are in your heart, they're going to weaponize them. They're going to keep you in court, take what you have until you're broke and can't make it on your own. These females would remarry. They could make good money. Their husband could make good money, but she would keep you on a leash. There are men that even got to the point when they told their baby mamas that they were willing to sign their rights away. And that female refused to allow that man to sign his rights away and refused to allow him to be in that child's life. She only wanted to continue to make his life miserable. But then you have the deadbeats that don't contribute nothing, want nothing to do with her, nor those kids. And then she would say, I don't want what he has. I only want him to be in his child's life. And would be willing to forget or forgive those child support obligations. She would have those obligations dropped just so that he can be in that child's life because she knows that he's got that mindset, F them kids. I can make more children if I choose to. So fellas, you need to stop fighting for your kids. Don't even waste your time because then you enter into the arena of that toxic female. That toxic female, that toxic black female want you to fight in her arena. That's why we see so many videos on the internet of black females fighting. I could be on the train and I somebody could be playing a video and I'm hearing all this yelling and noise and uh, people are cursing each other and automatically I know it's black females because they're toxic like that. But they want to say that men are the toxic ones when in most cases they are the ones that create havoc and violence between her and that man. She's the one that put hands on that man. She's the one that tries to scratch him up. She's the one that try to get her brothers or maybe some other dude to jump on him. But if he responds, then he's toxic. He's a narc. So in most cases, that female are the toxic ones. And dudes need to stop playing their games. And just move on with their life. Don't waste your time fighting for those kids. Because you can fight and go broke paying attorneys to fight for them kids and them same kids will grow up to curse you to your face. Just because she put all of that poison and bitterness in that child's heart. So my advice to black men. Stop fighting for your children. Don't waste your time. Don't waste your energy. Separate yourself from them. Move on with your life. And let her raise them kids on her own. Because so many people are growing up, adults are growing up saying, I grew up without my father. It wasn't his fault. In most cases, it's not his fault that you grew up without your father. Check your mother. Your mother is the one that's at fault. And more kids need to turn on their moms. 
when you realize, recognize, or learn that it was your mother that kept your father out of your life, then you should treat your moms like you treat your father that you thought turned his back on you, walked out on you. I was watching Patern uh, Judge Mathis. And you had this father and his son on there. Two good people. You could tell they were two good people. And the dude had so much bitterness in his heart against his father because his father wasn't there. The dude was sounding like a female. You need to step up and be there for your grandkids. Sounded like a woman. So automatically you know he got that from his moms. And the father was apologizing. He tried to hug his son and his son turned his back on him. Me personally, that's when I would say, hey, cool, no problem. Would have walked away. I don't have to know your kids. I don't have to know my grandkids because at the end of the day, you can always weaponize your grandchildren. You can't see your grandkids. If that father had of fell into that trap, I want to see my grandkids, I want to bond with my grandkids, and then you start loving these kids, and then the son, because he's got women traits, he's feminized, he's going to then say, no, you can't see your granddad. I don't want you around my kids. So the best thing to do, don't even bond with them. When you got a female and you got a son or even a daughter that's hostile against you for something that was completely out of your control, that's the fault of the mother, and you notice they are in opposition against you and coming at you, no problem, move on with your life. Have nothing to do with them. Yes, that's your child. Those are your grandkids. But yet, move on with your life because you don't need that stress. You don't need that headache. That's between them and the Most High. Not you. You did your part. And again, I'm talking to the good men out there. These, these guys that love their children. That support their children. But have to deal with a toxic black female so feedback tell me what you think subscribe click on the cash app support the channel but men should never have to fight to see their kids it's the toxic females that want you to fight because she knows that you're now fighting on her turf the system is in favor of her. You will lose. Doesn't matter how much you put before that judge. You give the judge your pay vouchers. Show him all of your responsibilities, which you got to pay. That judge don't care. His mindset is, we got to get this woman some money. And now you're enriching her house. And she's got a man and she would tell you, those are not his kids, those are yours. But that dude is being that father figure for your child. At the same time, again, turning that child against you. So, brothers, you should never fight for your kids. Move on with your life. Don't even waste your time and your energy. It's a waste of time. Until next time. I'm fearless.